It may have been the weekend, but the workers at the Ferodo brake factory were pouring back to work, this time with invited family and friends, proud to show them round one of the world's oldest brake factories. Classic cars and commercial vehicles were everywhere. Most of them would have had brakes from this very factory as original equipment. Our company is 100 years old uh, this year and today is the day when we celebrate that with all our employees and their families and their friends. It's a very, very competitive industry we work in, but uh, yes, uh, Ferola Chapel has had uh, several quite good years now, so uh, we, we, we're very determined to stay there. You get what you pay for with brakes, uh, you know, on, on new, new vehicles particularly. Uh, the manufacturers are very, very concerned that the brakes not only stop the car, because everybody just takes that for granted, but that you, you don't have noise, for example, uh, when you apply the brakes, that your brakes feel good as you're pushing your foot down on the pedal. So there's a lot of refinements now which um, uh, vehicle manufacturers look for. They called it an open day, so I moseyed around. I'm sure a friendly brake boffin would explain further. In the brake material itself, it can be up to about 20 different chemicals uh, from all sources around the world, uh, from hard abrasives down to uh, mi mineral fibres, uh, basically holding the, the whole structure together. Uh, basically, uh, we develop for the original equipment market, and obviously the aftermarket will then uh, benefit from that. Uh, not only are we uh, looking for uh, wear, uh, an improved uh, wear of materials, but also comfort factors such as uh, reduced noise uh, and uh, re reduced judder. Uh, and quite often the brake material is benefiting the whole car by keeping the noise levels down. The materials now are uh, very highly developed uh, from a point of view of uh, more compressible materials. Uh, as I said, the, the comfort factors and the important thing that we are uh, improving on all the time. Brakes are seen as a distress purchase for many, but it really is a false economy not to have them regularly checked. The brakes, uh, obviously, from a safety point of view, obviously need to be regularly checked and, uh, and changed you know, when, uh, when required. Um, really, to keep brakes running too long, obviously, eventually will damage uh, the disc itself and other parts of the brake. So, yes, it's, it's one item that should be checked very, very regularly. The Ferodo factory in Chapel on the Frith is not all high-tech machinery and checking equipment. The place is brightened up by this huge mural designed by local school children to celebrate the centenary of one of the world's oldest brake companies. But why is the factory in Derbyshire and not in an automotive area like the Midlands? Oh, well, the first brake lines were made of cotton and, of course, we're quite close to the cotton industry of Lancashire here and uh, hence the position that we're in today. Well, the story is we've, we've got a history and a span of about 100 years and the first vehicles with the internal combustion engines had some of the earliest brakes and we have a good spread. Yes, it was back in the 1890s when this gentleman, Herbert Froude, pioneered those woven brakes before he went on to discover more effective materials to stop vehicles. Herbert must also have been good at Scrabble as Ferodo sounded a far better name than Froude. The company has seen great expansion over the years, developing brakes for high-speed trains as well. If you think your car brakes do a good job, just imagine the braking systems needed to halt a beast like this. But Frodo's heart has always been in automotive applications, and close links with motorsport have provided essential test beds for new developments. They've also sponsored this ultra superbike to be ridden by Gabriel Utley who aims to break the land speed record and he wants to brake safely afterwards as well. Funnily enough, I don't seem to have any problems going fast. I do want to stop at the far end because obviously when I'm going flat out, I actually do the length of a football pitch in less than three quarters of a second. Well, when you're accelerating, it actually pushes the eyeballs back in your sockets. So you don't actually get to see a lot when you're actually riding it. Uh, it only starts to become clear when you're under braking and you want to obviously see the green bit coming up at the end of the runway. The horsepower is somewhere over 200, we're not really sure. It's got an awful lot of horsepower. It does not to 150 in just under nine seconds. Um, I'm hoping to do about 230 miles an hour with it this year, and we'll be having a go at the record at the end of September in Norfolk. There's a man going places, 
And after our visit to the open day at Chapel on Lofrith, it's good to know that so much work is being done to help us all stop more effectively and make motoring more comfortable. Well, I think the message is to the average motorist, think about what brakes do for you. And when you take your car to a garage, just think about the product itself. Because most, most motorists take their car to a garage to have it serviced. And they don't think safety. And the most critical component is the brakes. And you need to have the best quality because it's a life-saving product. It really is.